Hey guys, welcome to another video where I'll be teaching math. I'm Abhinav. I've done both my bachelor's and master's in electrical engineering from IIT Kharagpur. In this video, we'll be solving a question that appeared on J Advance 2021 using four different approaches. The question involves finding the circumcircle of a triangle. The first three approaches are straightforward but lengthy and calculative. However, the fourth approach is a bit tricky. But once you figure out the trick, the question gets done in a very short span of time. So grab your notebooks and pens and let's explore these methods together. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe for more insightful math solutions and tips. So what you have in front of you is this question that appeared on J Advanced 2021. All you have to do is you have to find the equation of circumcircle. Let us see what is given to us. Consider a triangle whose sides lie on x axis and the line x plus y is equal to 1. So let us say this is one side of the triangle which is x axis. So when you say x axis, so y coordinates will be 0. And this is a line x plus y plus 1 is equals to 0. And this is your third side. Alright. If the ortho center of the triangle is 1 comma 1, ortho center is 1 comma 1. So now let us try to find out the vertices of this triangle first before finding out the equation of circumcircle. So this particular point lies on x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and we already know that this y coordinate is 0. So when you when you put y is equal to 0 in this particular equation, it gives you x is equals to minus 1. Alright. Let us assume this coordinate is A and the coordinates of this particular vertex are B and C. Now, since 1 comma 1 is ortho center, let us denote the vertices with A, B and C and ortho center as O. Now, since 1 comma 1 is ortho center, BO is perpendicular to AC. So, the slope of BO multiplied by slope of AC should be minus 1. What is slope of BO? It will be 0 minus 1 divided by A minus 1 into slope of AC is minus 1. You have the equation of the line from this equation you can find out that the slope is minus 1. So, this is minus 1. So this and this gets cancelled. So minus 1 is equals to a minus 1 which implies that a is equals to 0. So this particular coordinate is simply origin. Now we have to figure out b and c. Similarly, we know that a b is x axis and we also know that c o is perpendicular to AB. So, CO is perpendicular to AB's x-axis. So, CO is perpendicular to x-axis. So, CO is parallel to y-axis. CO is parallel to y-axis. Therefore, the slope should be infinite. What is the slope of CO? Slope of CO is C minus 1 upon b minus 1. So, this should be infinite and that happens when b is equals to 1. Alright. So, here we have b is equals to 1. When b is equal to 1 from this equation you get c is equals to minus 2. Alright. So, now we have found out the vertices of the triangle. So, now there are four ways of doing it. I am going to present, there might be multiple ways of doing it. But in this video, I am going to present four ways of doing it. Method 1. You can assume that the equation of circumcircle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. And 
you have three variables here g f and c so you already know that point a lies on this circle circum circle passes through the vertices of the triangle so point a lies on this circle point b also lies on this circle and point c also lies on this circle so when you substitute the coordinates of point a you get one equation in g f and c and when you substitute the coordinates of point b you get one more equation and when you substitute the coordinates of c you get one more equation so you have three equations and three variables you can solve them and find out what g f and c are and you put the values of g f and c here in the circle equation and that will give you the equation of circum circle that is the first method so you see what is the problem with this method it will be lengthy in this case your coordinates are simply zeros ones and such good looking numbers but what if the coordinates of the triangle looks ugly let's say some fractions then all these calculations solving three equations and three variables becomes really difficult so you should i don't recommend you guys using this particular method in the exams so what is the next method let us see what is the second method method 2 you can assume the equation of the circle as x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square and you can find out a b and r a b is simply your circum center a b is simply your circum center because since it is a center of circum circle it will be your circum center and r is your circum radius so now how do you find out ab and r so you have the triangle and you have a point ab here which is circum center you know that let us denote the circum center with s you know that if s is a circum center of the triangle as is equals to bs is equal to cs circum center is equidistant from the vertices of the triangle so you find out what you you find out what is as so you know the vertices of a which is minus 1 comma 0 and you have the vertices of s all right you find you find out as and you find out bs using distance formula and you find out cs you equate all of them and you also know that these three things are is equal to r which is circum radius you find out as bs and cs and r and equate them and somehow find the values of a b and r and uh, once you find out the values of a b and r you plug them in in this equation and that will give you the equation of circum circle again the problem with this method is if your coordinates of the vertices are not good looking numbers these calculations can be really cumbersome and you will for sure make mistakes while doing the calculations so this is one more lengthy lengthy way of doing it now let us go to method 3 what is method 3 so you have a triangle like this and you already know the vertices a b and c again you have to find out a b and r here in x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square we know a b is the circum center but what is circum center circum center is point of concurrency of perpendicular bisectors all right so you find out the perpendicular bisector of side bc and find out the perpendicular bisector of side ac and find the intersection point so that will give you the circum center how do you find out the perpendicular bisector of bc so you know the slope of bc so 
this particular line this particular blue line is perpendicular to BC so you will know the slope of this blue line okay and it is a bisector so you this point will be the midpoint so you will find out the midpoint of BC so you have a point on this blue line so you have a point on the blue line and you know the slope of the line so using point slope form you can find out the equation of this perpendicular bisector similarly you find this point which is the midpoint of A and C and you know the slope of AC the perpendicular slope will be the slope of this particular yellow line get those two equations you solve those two equations and that will give you the circumcenter which will be somewhere here the x coordinate of the circumcenter will be your A and y coordinate of the circumcenter will be your B and then how do you find out R R is simply the distance between circumcenter and any of the vertices you find that distance and put the value here so that is how you can find out the equation of the circle using the third method now let us go to the fourth method what is method 4 this method is very tricky and you should all have this method in your notebooks all right so like the whole point of the video is to make you understand what all methods are there to find out circumcenters and circumcircles the first method here is very straightforward all right so it just wants you to assume an equation and solve for the variables the second method gives you some insights about circumcenter such as the circumcenter is equidistant from the vertices and how how you can use that fact and figure out the equation of the circle in the similar way the third method will also give give you some insight about the circumcenter that is that the circumcenter is a point of concurrency of perpendicular bisectors so it shows you how you can find out for perpendicular bisectors and hence figure out the equation of the circumcircle now let us go to the fourth method before we do that let me draw the triangle here so you have a triangle something like this and we have already calculated the vertices this vertex is 0 comma 0 and this is minus 1 comma 0 and this is simply 0 comma minus 2 or 1 comma minus 2 sorry 1 comma minus 2 and the ortho center is given which is 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 is the ortho center let us assume this is a this is b and this is c now there is a very interesting property in in triangles so what is the property let us say here you have your o which is ortho center all right and here you have your g which is centroid and here you have your s which is circum center now the property is that all these three points lie on the same line and the point g divides o and s internally in the ratio 2 is to 1 all right this is a very powerful property of triangles and we can use this particular property property to solve this question so now we already know o which is 1 comma 1 so since we know the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle we can find out centroid what is the centroid centroid is simply x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 the sum of x coordinates is 0 by 3 and sum of y coordinates is 0 plus 0 minus 2 that is simply minus 2 upon 3 so centroid is 0 comma minus 2 by 3 so we know this point also minus 2 upon 3 now we have to find out circumcenter let us assume the coordinates are a and b now we can write we can apply se section formula now the centroid 0 comma minus 2 by 3 is equals to 2 into a 
plus 1 into 1 by 3 comma 2 into b plus 1 into 1 by 3 i'm just applying section formula so this is 2a plus 1 by 3 comma 2b plus 1 by 3 0 comma minus 2 by 3 so if you equate these two you'll get a is equals to minus half and if you equate these two minus 2 by 3 is equals to 2b plus 1 by 3 this and this gets cancelled you get b is equals to minus 3 by 2 so you got the coordinates of circumcenter as well a is minus half and b is minus 3 by 2 now what is the equation of the circle x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square this implies x minus a is simply the x coordinate of circumcenter which is minus 1 by 2 and b is y coordinates of circumcenter which is minus 3 by 2 if you put minus 1 by 2 here it will become x plus 1 by 2 whole square similarly this will become y plus 3 by 2 whole square is equals to r square now what is r r is simply let us say you have s here r is simply the distance between circumcenter and any vertex that will be simply 1 minus 1 by 2 whole square plus minus 3 by 2 whole square that is 1 by 4 plus 9 by 4 this is the equation of the circle x plus 1 by 2 whole square is x square plus 1 by 4 plus x plus y plus 3 by 2 whole square is y square plus 9 by 4 plus 3y this is equals to 1 by 4 plus 9 by 4 this and this gets cancelled this and this gets cancelled so the equation of circle will be x square plus y square plus x plus 3y is equal to 0 so this is the required equation i hope you you have liked the solution and i strongly recommend you guys to add this particular technique of solving questions to your notebook and as a homework question i have a question for you on the same concept i'll be writing it here give it a try and comment the answer so you have a triangle a b c all right the coordinates of a are 1 comma 10 and circumcenter is minus 1 by 3 comma 2 by 3 ortho center is 11 by 3 comma 4 by 3 now what you have to find out is the coordinates of midpoint of bc what are the coordinates of this particular point the concept that I have explained you while solving the previous question in method 4 can help you in solving this particular question as well. Try to solve it and comment the answer in the comment section. And if you like the solution, hit that like button, share it with your friends and subscribe for more such content. And if you want videos on any specific concepts or if you want me to solve any specific questions, you can directly contact me on telegram. I am attaching the link to my telegram channel in the description. Do join the channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.